Hey folks, it's Ken and Data Monkey back for another episode of Monkey Shorts. And in this week's episode, we're going to look at a little reporting trick that I use to be able to collapse and hide uh, information that's not so important all the time and then be able to display it nicely, but give the user a little bit of a messaging to let them know what they can do. So you'll see here in uh, cell A12, we've got something that says click to expand assumptions. And that points us to use the outlining tool on the left-hand side or we can click on it and it will open up all of the assumptions. But notice also that when we do that, I've actually got the message suppressed, okay? We don't actually need to see it to say click when we've already clicked it. Now I'm gonna go back and collapse it again, get it out of the way and notice the message comes back up. Now I've got all kinds of schedules in this report as well. Schedule one, we've got a schedule two, three, there's five of them all together. And again, I don't need to see all of this stuff when I print it. So again, here we go. There's schedule three, I can open it up, I can see the information, I can go and click it and it will come back and show me the collapsed version with the message there. So how do I go about setting all this stuff up? The first thing to do is to go and select the data that we want to hide and display. Once we selected those rows, I'm gonna come up here to data group and we're gonna group it. That gives us the grouping outline to be able to hide and show it. But the problem is right now is when I collapse it, I just have a blank row here. It doesn't tell me to do anything. And what I really want is this message to dynamically show up when it's collapsed, but not when it's not there. Now you'll notice over here that I've got a little formula in place. This is count A, which is just doing count A of these items to come back and count the textual elements. No matter what I do, when I expand it, collapse it, this stays the same. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna leverage a nice little function here I like to use called aggregate. And you'll notice that the first argument that it asks for is what's the function you wanna use. So I'm gonna use the same one, count A, that I'm using to, to generate my result of four over there. But the nice thing with aggregate is you get another option here where you can go in and say, I'd like to use argument number five, ignore hidden rows. I'm then gonna go put in a comma. We're gonna grab the same data range. And when I close this, Notice it comes back to four, but when I collapse it, it comes to zero. So it's ignoring the hidden rows. This is pretty brilliant because now I can actually go copy this message and say, all right, let's use this some, some conditional logic. If the aggregate of the non-visible rows there equals zero, then at that point we know things are hidden. So we can click to expand it. If it's not zero, if it's greater than zero, then we're gonna put in everything between the two quotes, which is nothing, and there we go. It now shows up as blank. But when I collapse it, it says, let's see schedule five. So now I can get rid of this stuff, and I've got a beautiful schedule that is working nicely to give the user a nice little uh, understanding of how to actually expand it and open it and look at it. Thank you for watching this episode of Monkey Shorts. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to click on the Skillwave logo on the bottom left in order to subscribe to our channel. Or if you'd like to see more videos in the series, click on the playlist tile on the right. And if you'd like to get more comprehensive training, you should definitely check out our website at skillwave.training.